Yes people, how's it going? Welcome back to Lily White Lane, Tottenham Hotspur 4, Newcastle United won a 5 star display at the lane from Ange Postecoglou. Blue Spurs side means that Tottenham come away with what is an absolutely massive 3 points that puts a bit of space between them and the sides below them. What a performance and what a massive 3 points and win that was for Tottenham Hotspur. 1 point out of a possible 15 in our last five games, it's simply not good enough. We needed a performance like that. We needed a win like that. And we got that win. And we got that scintillating performance. We got that beautiful football on the eye today from Tottenham Hotspur. But it also came with three points. Like it hasn't against the likes of West Ham and Aston Villa at home. And look, we took our chances today. We took our chances. We still had chances that we missed. Genuinely, it could have been nine or ten today. But we put away four. We put the game to bed scoring that second goal. And we didn't allow Newcastle to get back into it in the second half. The performance was brilliant today. Udoji took the lead in the 25th minute. It was beautiful skill on the left-hand side from Hyung Min Sana. Gorgeous ball in. Udoji gets his first goal and first deserved goal in a Spurs shirt for Spurs. And I did a Ralph Hassan hoop. Well, I jumped up excited and calmed myself down. Because I've seen us go 1-0 up five times in a row now. Yet come away with nothing. But when Richardson scored that second, I was jumping up and down like an absolute madman. It was a fantastic goal again created by Hyung Min Sun. We took a 2-0 lead. We finally went into half time, not with a one goal, you know, margin between us and the opposition or not drawing, but with a two goal margin and taking control of the game. It was a brilliant first half from Spurs. Newcastle got themselves back into the game a little. At the beginning of the second half, they looked leggy, they looked tired, and they did what they needed to do. They came out at the beginning of the second half and were patient and tried to wait for an opening that Spurs gave them. But Spurs didn't give them an opening. We didn't let them in. We defended so well today as well. I'll get onto some of the defenders' performances when we get to the player ratings. We make it 3-0, another Richardson goal. I want to be proven wrong by this guy. I've criticised him a lot. He was excellent today. It's a great ball from Poro. Great finish from Richardson. And from there, genuinely, I know we won it 4-0. We could have scored 9. You know, some massive chances. Johnson hit the bar. There was another chance from Sun, which was narrowly missed. So many big chances. The skip one late on when he came on. So much space and time. It weren't good enough. We were absolutely excellent towards the end of that second half. Beautiful one-touch, scintillating football from Spurs. Liquid football, in the words of Alan Partridge. Sun puts away a penalty for the fourth and Newcastle get a consolation towards the end. But I love the fact that the defence was angry about that. Even though we scored 4-1 and won the game 4-1, they were angry about giving away that clean sheet. And I love that, you know, I love that we have a team that cares, which we didn't last season. I think before this season started as Spurs fans, when Ange came in, we said it doesn't necessarily matter where we finish this season. Expectations have obviously been raised because of how good of a start we made, but it doesn't necessarily matter where we finish as long as we see beautiful football, a team that cares, and progress. We're seeing a beautiful team that cares. We're seeing progress. We're seeing what we wanted to see. And I think the reason fans, in my opinion, have overreacted over the last five games it's because of how good of a start to the season we made. Obviously, we've had key injuries, and if we didn't have those, we'd be still be up there, maybe top, potentially. But if my aunt has balls, she'd be my uncle. Do you know what I mean? We do have those injuries, and over the last five games, dropping from first to fifth, fans are going to get annoyed. Obviously, they are. But I've told a lot of fans to calm down because it's what we expected before the season. And we're seeing so many good signs to get behind this manager. It's why it's frustrating me when people have been questioning Ange over the last few weeks. The guy joined in the summer when we finished 8th last season, lost our captain two days before the season. And he's got us competing in games with the likes of Manchester City and Newcastle whilst we've got crucial injuries. He's got us competing against Arsenal, beating Liverpool, beating Man United. This manager genuinely can achieve special things with this football club, but we need to back him. We need to be patient. We're at the start of what we're trying to do at this football club. Andrew said that a lot himself, and we need to get behind him. And today showed exactly why we need to get behind him. A scintillating and beautiful performance. I, knew, uh, I know Newcastle have got big injuries, and of course that's going to affect them. And if it was at St. James, uh, St. James's Park, maybe it's a different game. But this same injury-riddled side beat Arsenal. This same injury-riddled side beat Manchester United and battered them. That game could have been 5 or 6, it was only 1-0. We made them look like championship players today and that's a credit to Ange Postecoglou's Tottenham Hotspur side who were also injury riddled today. But look, without further ado, let's delve into the player ratings. Vicaro, I'm going to give a 7. Didn't have a lot to do today, but 
I'm giving him a 7 because I thought he commanded his box really well, claimed crosses really well. It was a good and solid performance from Vicari. He did everything he needed to do, and his distribution was very, very good. Look, on Thursday it wasn't, you know, what it has been this season, but today it was what it has been this season. He was excellent when it comes to distributing the ball and playing it out from the back. Vicario, I'm going to give him a 7. Yudoshi, do I give... I'm going to give Yudoshi a 9. I thought Yudoji was absolutely fantastic, and I'm not sure much more that he could have done today. I'm genuinely not sure there's much more he could have done. I thought he was brilliant going forward. He looked dangerous, got his goal early on. The run, as I say, he's a wing back and he's running into the centre like a striker, like Kyung Min Sun does. And it's whipped in by Sun. It's a brilliant finish from Yudoji. And for the rest of the game, he looked awesome. Linking up play brilliantly, didn't give it away at all. Against West Ham, I actually thought he was good, but the mistake brought his player rating down for me. Today, genuinely as a wing back, I'm not sure there's much more he could have done. Got his goal, created chance after chance, was so solid defensively. Brilliant today. Absolutely brilliant today from Destiny Udoji. I'm going to give him a 9. Arguably his best performance in the Tottenham Hotspur shirt. Ben Davies, I'm going to give an 8. I thought he was the best of the two centre-backs. And look, in the games that he's played in since uh, since Mickey van den Ven's got injured, I actually think he's been real decent. I think even in the games that we've lost, we've been more crossed by Royale and that you know right centre-back position or other players that we've had there. I think Davies was solid against Wolves. I think he was solid against Villa. I think could have been a bit better against West Ham, but I thought he was brilliant today. I really do. And that, uh, I say early chance, it wasn't necessarily a shot, but it's whipped in from Newcastle. It's a dangerous cross. And look, a lot of players would have put it into their own net there or just not been able to get to it. And Isaac scores and it's 1-0 Newcastle early and it's a different game, but it's brilliant from Ben Davies. Clears it away fantastically. Got involved, stepped up today. Ben Davies is brilliant. I'm going to give him an 8. Christian Romero, I'm going to give a 7. Playing out from the back, solid today, Romero, but was very, very lucky not to get sent off at the end. I don't know what he was doing. One of the best things of his game is also one of the worst things of the game, and that's his aggression. We love it sometimes and we hate it sometimes. It's like Marmite. It really isn't. Today, he was very lucky not to get himself a red card. The ball's just not there for him on Joe Linton, and that could have been him missing another three games, and we really didn't need that. We really didn't need that. Nearly cost us again. I don't want him to take his rashness completely out of his game. But I want him to take his stupidity out a little bit. And that was a silly tackle. Go for it by all means when it's there. But it was by no means there today, that tackle on Joe Linton. He was very lucky not to get himself sent off. But apart from that, I thought he was solid. I'm going to give I'm gonna give Romero a 7. Not as good as Davies, actually. But it's one of those where I think he's he was at his best this season next to Mickey van den Ven. You put a player next to a world-class player, as I say... It will make them both world class. So look, Christian Romero, I'm going to give a 7. Right back, Pedro Poro, I'm going to give Poro a 9. People might say my player ratings are generous, but it's my show. Comment down below your player ratings, I want to hear them all. I'm not sure there's much more Poro could have done today apart from the score. He was dangerous, he was linking up brilliantly. Quality cross after quality cross. Defensively, so solid today. Pedro Poro was everything you wanted from an inverted wing back in this Andrew Postacoglu system, just like Destiny Udoji was. Man of the match, it be between the wing backs. So I thought both of them were fantastic. And fair play to Poro for the performance he put in. Nine. Bissouma, I'm going to give an eight. That's more like it from Bissouma, man. Against City, even though he made the mistake, it was more like it from him. Against West Ham, it was a bit more like it from him. And today, that's what I want to see from Bissouma, turning on the ball like he did in the first few games. Like it's stuck to his feet like glue in, in that Brentford game. At the beginning of the season, I still think it's slightly better than what he is now. But he's linking up brilliantly. He's looking classy. And he's looking like that player at the beginning of the season. He had a bit of a bad spell after that red against Luton. Looking like that bad spell's come to an end. He was excellent today. Cleaned up everything at the back. Vice Basuma, I am going to give an 8. Moving on to the next two midfielders, we are going to discuss Pape Matasar. Only if Papa solid eight. I thought he was very I thought he was mustered in that midfield today, to be honest. Do I give him a nine? Maybe no, I'm not I'm not gonna give him a nine because he did give it away a couple of times, but did everything you want him to do in that position. Created chances, dropped back when he needed to, put in aggressive tackles, freed up space, held up play, did everything you wanted to as that sort of free roaming midfielder. Papa Matasar was really good today. I'm gonna give him an eight. Kulisevsky. I'm going to give an 8 as well. thought he was quite poor against West Ham. He was incredible against Man City. Today, I think solid's the right word. Created chances. Could have done a little bit better with a few of the chances himself. 
But I think we need to keep consistently playing him in that attacking midfielder role. Obviously, he went to right wing against Man City and played brilliant there. He was on smoke that game. But, you know, played right wing in the week, weren't brilliant. Played attacking mid against Villa, fantastic. Played attacking mid again today, fantastic. I think he needs to keep playing there. He was really, really solid today, Kulisevsky. My one criticism why he's not getting a 9 or 10 is because had a couple of half chances he could have done better with. But he was creative, he was dangerous, he was freeing up space. Kulisevsky gets a very solid 8, in my opinion. Richardson up top, 9 from Richardson, not just for the goals, but for the performance. I've been calling this guy out day in, day out on this channel, and I'm so glad that he proved me wrong today. I want him to keep doing it consistently. Am I going to get ahead of myself and say that he will? No, because he's put in decent performances before and fell off the next game and flops. But today wasn't a decent performance. Today was a fantastic performance from Richardson. Both goals were brilliantly taken in the right positions all the time, being aggressive, putting in tackles. It's what you want a C from Richardson. And when we saw him playing as a striker, which I didn't think when I saw the lineup, I thought winger, but I saw him as a striker, I was like, he's going to miss big chances again. But yeah, he didn't. He didn't miss big chances. He got two big chances, put them away. He was clinical today, which is weird to say about Richardson, but fair play to him. Fair play to him. Hyung Min Sun on the left. I was worried about him being on the left before the game and then I reminded myself he's played on the left for most of his first career and been absolute dynamite and he was class today. Absolutely class. Do I give him a 10? Probably not because maybe he could have done a little bit better with a couple of chances but I'm going to give him an 8. Two brilliantly created assists. The penalty was dispatched fantastically. He was excellent today, Sonny. He looked back to his absolute best. Classy from him. Another goal for him. I believe that's his 10th of the season. He's flying this season. Chung Min Sun gets a 9. And Brennan Johnson, I'm going to give an 8. I like what I've seen from Johnson. But I think in recent games he could have got more involved than he has done. But he did get involved today. He got himself involved. Created chances for himself. Maybe could have done a bit better with that shot where he hit the bar. But yeah, I was really impressed with what I saw from Johnson today. So I'm going to give him an 8. In terms of the subs, Lo Celso 7, Skip 7, Hill 7, Hoybier 7. I, I'm, am I forgetting a sub? Donnelly 7. We didn't see... Two. Actually, I'm going to give Lo Celso an 8 because we saw a bit more of him. I thought he linked up really well. But the rest of them, 7. 7 for me is just a solid performance. Below 7 is probably below average. I thought he was solid. I thought he was solid today. But look, or, or I thought they were solid, the subs that came on. We only saw him for a little while. Jamie Donnelly could see him on the pitch. Would have liked to see a bit more of him. But there you go. Fantastic performance today from Spurs. Back began. Start of a rebuild. Competing with top teams. It's what you like to see. Thank you for watching. Take care. And as always, Comedy Spurs. Enoch and Levy out in Big Ange. We